First here on News 11 at 4, Pine Lawn Alder people say enough is enough, claiming they've been denied access to their own city's finances. Now they're suing to find out where the money's going. Questions that heated up after a story first uncovered by investigator Chris Hayes. He joins us now with more. Chris? Mike, this 12-page lawsuit filed this month by six of Pine Lawn's eight alder people alleges, quote, when someone acts like they have something to hide, it's usually because they do. These are three of the six Pine Lawn Alder people suing their own city just to see something as simple as the town's credit card bill. Alder woman Dion Peoples-Jones started pushing the issue when Fox 2 first broke the story in September 2022 that Pine Lawn was failing to pay its outside contracted police force on time. And they have the right to know what's going on within their city hall. Also that year, Alderwoman Regina Gathright expressed frustration about being denied access to the books. I've been trying to get information for two years. This is my second term now. And for me to do my job and for the residents to come to me to ask certain things about city finances, I can't give them no information because I don't get that. Six alder people total are now joined in the lawsuit against Pine Lawn's mayor, city administrator, and treasurer, a petition that alleges the board voted that the city include all bank account statements, invoices, statements of bills, and credit card statements in the board packet for each meeting. When that allegedly went nowhere, alderwoman Peoples-Jones says she filed a sunshine law request for the documents. The petition continues with the allegation. The city did not provide the public records requested by Jones under the Sunshine Law, even after the city attorney requested that the mayor and city administrator make this information available. The mayor declined to comment, saying we'd hear their response in court. And in a hearing that just wrapped up at about 2 p.m. today, attorneys for Pine Lawn said they hope to be able to comply by the next board meeting next month. We'll follow up to find out if that happens. Chris Hayes, News 11.